Hello, everybody, and welcome back uh, to uh, the Con Life here at uh, uh, here at Conapalooza in uh, Kingsport, Tennessee, at the Meadowview Convention Center. And uh, today we have uh, with us we have Miss Paige L. Christie. Paige L. Christie here with her yep. two. Uh, she's presenting two books here with me right yes. now. Uh, you have a few more over there, don't you? Or uh... yes, I'm actually here with my publisher, Perspective Press. Nice. Uh, these happen to be the two that I wrote. Okay. Uh, so the first book is. Woo! Dragon Weather. Dragon Weather. In the okay. series, it's going to be a series of four. Currently, okay. we've got two out. Um, and this is Wing Win. That's book two. Nice. There are two more coming. Okay. But yeah, they are uh, feminist westerns with dragons. Nice. Yes. Okay. High well, fantasy meets high noon. Nice. <laughs> nice. Well, honestly, um, so how long have you uh, how long have you been writing? I've been writing um, randomly since I was about seven. Uh, and well, they start pro- young. Professionally for about. Three years. Three years. So, okay. It took so, a while to get going. Oh, well, no, hey, hey trust Ca- me. Not it, enough caffeine. I don't well, know. Well, yeah, something. it took me. It took me a while to get going too. I didn't start this until I was 26. Even though I had, I had all the ideas in my head. I was just like, I can't. Oh, well, you're do 20 it. years ahead of me, man. I <laughs> so. can't do it. I can't do this. I'm. I'm. I'm too fat and stupid. No one will ever pay attention to me. No. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't Eventually, I got over it. I got over it and was just like, you know what? I'm doing it. And you, you know, taking the risk and putting yourself out there. Yeah. I mean, heck. The fact that people, the fact, I mean, have you uh, sold any copies? Uh? I have sold several hundred in nice. the last couple of years. Yeah. Nice. I, yeah, it's so it's great, and it's getting re- they're getting really good reviews, and nice. Fantasy Faction just reviewed them, and yeah, they're they're getting draws from uh, authors like Jenny Wirtz and Lucy Hounsom and Stephen Poor. They, they were really giving me some endorsements. So nice. yeah, they're they're on the road. It's a small press, traditionally published, but we're rocking and rolling. And I was one of those people who spent. 25 years going to cons and hitting all the writers workshops and thinking well someday 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 and then I got my act together and now I'm instead of being a guest I'm a panelist so yeah, it's it, great well, <laughs> so. well honestly uh, hey, some some career some of the best careers start late I mean uh, yeah. for instance uh, Colonel Sanders he actually didn't uh, open yes. up KFC until he was uh, actually almost retired he actually mm-hmm. had no money in his pocket and he was just like you know what Chicken. I can cook better than anyone else I know and now I'm going to start a fried chicken joint and look at and look at his empire now. You never know where life is going to take you, man. Absolutely it's not. And beautiful. it is never too late. Quote, never, never too, too late. late. Yes, yes, I agree. And, uh, the, and uh, you, uh, so how long have you been uh, touring uh, convention circuits? Oh, uh, well, I, I started going to, I, I, my first con was Dragon Con uh, 20 years ago this year. Wow. Yeah, back when it was in like. Two hotels instead nice. of all of Atlanta. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, so a long time I've been going to cons mm-hmm. as a participant, just going to cons. But as a panelist and a writer, about a year and a half, like very nice. As the other side of the table, you uh, know. So, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is new. So it's it's an interesting switch to go from being in the audience at the panels and just cruising through the dealers hall to being behind the booth and yeah. and all that stuff. But the thing I have loved about cons has never changed, mm-hmm. um, which is you come to these events and everybody gets to be exactly who they wish they could be yeah. every day if they could be. Yeah. You know, So you get to see people's heart and soul. You get to see their best selves, who they want to be. Mm-hmm. Um, and for me, that's just magical and it always has been. I, keep, I can't not come to these things because people are who they want to be it's beautiful yeah it uh, well it's it's dreams coming into life it's people because even even if they're the character that the person wants to be isn't like hasn't been published or isn't in anything big exactly they can be who they want to be they can create their own character i've seen some characters some people walking around here characters of their own creation yeah. i mean and people like people are willing to accept that and people and they're actually people who are willing to listen to the story of your character exactly and hear, and hear it out and on and honestly another thing that gets me about conventions like this as well is that the connections the connections that you can yes. build with people i mean that's just like uh the people i'm working with here brian and marie yeah. uh, bridgeforth you know brian as you all can probably see yeah, in the background behind on. me this is yeah amazing. yeah <laughs> he's like brian is a brilliant artist and yeah. uh we actually uh, got the hookup from actually someone who uh someone who kind of left us both flapping in the wind and uh we we had to uh we like i reconnected with him and uh he did some concept work for me on a on a franchise that i'm working on called gods and monsters Ooh, uh, which uh, you can actually see some of the artwork over there oh excellent uh, that's actually the original artwork my friend gabriel I'm grab this hang on me. yeah yeah if you want to <laughs> 
<laughs> so yeah, yeah just talk uh, about it without showing it off. Yeah. Look, so look Gabriel. Awesome. So uh, Gabriel, who's probably <laughs> watching right now. Thank you very much, Gabriel. Fabulous. Uh, yeah. And uh, me and Gabriel, we so came happy. up with. Uh, he came up with uh, the the uh, characters after. It, what inspired it was when we went to watch the movie Shin Godzilla, the new Godzilla movie Shin from Godzilla, Toho. Yes. It was really good. <laughs> and uh, we started talking amongst ourselves, just like, what? What kind of monster would you be? And we were and like we all came up with our own like things and then Gabriel heard this and was just like, I'm on it. And you know, usually you get that question, it's like, if you had superpowers, what would it be? Exactly. I would fly, I would turn back time. No, what kind of monster would you be? That's a new question. Yeah, I like that's, it. That's, that's a one, good one. That's one I want to, uh, <laughs> not to replace the super, because the super, superpower question will always be there. But, but it's we have a new light and dark within us, exactly. and you've got to go for both. You've got exactly. to know who you are when yep. you flip the switch. Yes. It's important. And I think, yep. uh, well, and Gabriel, he gave me these, and he sent them in, and I hashed out a, a story that to go along with it. Gabriel threw in his input, and I tried to get Gabriel to come up here to this convention, but unfortunately, he, you know, due to scheduling conflicts, he couldn't make it. Yeah, it uh, I wanted, hey, Gabriel, next convention we're presenting this out. Please, man, please come with me. I want you up here, and I want you to be able to sign your artwork. Yeah, autographs, man. You know, we'll get that silver pin for you, and just like, sh- just like yeah. sign it up, man, me Fancy. and you both. Stickers, yeah. autographed copy. I yeah. know about these things. Of mm, course, it's important. Yeah. Uh, yeah, very important. <laughs> so. As always, very it's important. Back over here. Yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, but uh, so for you, um, you you've been to a lot of conventions, like you said. You went to Dragon Con uh, twenty years ago. What is uh, one of the best Surreal. convention experiences for you? Oh golly, you know it, they they start the awesome starts to run together. Uh huh. Um, that's that's fair. But I will. I will tell you this story because it is still one of my all-time favorites. It was probably about 10 years ago now at, oh, really? at Dragon Con. And I dragged my mother to <laughs> Dragon Con. Okay, which no, uh, what you have to know about my mother is she knows nothing about fandom. Nothing. She doesn't know sci-fi from fantasy. She wouldn't know an elf from an orc. Or, I mean, it, it's, it's, but she loves people and she loves people watching, right? So, Sounds like my dad. Yeah, so I dragged her to Dragon Con because I knew she'd just get a kick. Well, 10 years later, she's still coming to Dragon Con with me. Nice, okay, but nice. every year she comes down. So, But we're there our first year. And Dragon Con, you know, four days. And Sunday afternoon, people start to filter out. And sometimes mm-hmm. whatever's happening next in the hotel starts to filter in. Yeah. And what was filtering in Uh-oh. was the Southern Baptist Convention. Yes, Sunday, starting into the Marriott. Uh, Marriott Marquis. Cast out these devils! <laughs> yes. So, and there's my mother, who then was in her 60s. Yes. And is now in her 70s. And is still going to Dragon Con. Go, mm-hmm. Mom. Hey. And, um, go, Mom. Oh, my God. So much fun. And she had been to the art show, and my mother loves hats. Mm-hmm. And she bought this fabulous purple hat. And it was a Dragon Slayer hat, because this is my mother. Yeah. And it had s- stakes and swords and silver crosses and all dangling yeah. from it. It was the Dragon Slayer hat. But yeah. she just liked the hat. So off she gets, she gets the hat, and she's sitting in the <laughs> lobby of the Marriott with me. And she's wearing this hat. And it's a terrible stereotype. Yeah. But... Southern Baptist women, they love their hats, right? <laughs> so so there's all these ministers running around with their eyes this big, right? They're like, oh, my God, what's oh happening? Gosh. And all their wives and in the hats. Yeah. And we probably had 50 women in hats uh, come yeah. up to my mother because she was the safe person in the room because she was wearing the badge, uh-huh. but she was wearing the hat. Uh-huh. And it didn't matter that it was a Dragon Slayer hat. It was a big hat. And she was an old lady. And so they came up and they would be like, what's happening? And she would explain to them what was happening. And by the end, they were like, really? Can we get your picture with you? And da, da, da. And on and on. And she was like converting people, converting Baptists to fandom on the fly at her first Dragon Con. My favorite Dragon Con memory is my mother (laughs) converting Baptists to con fans it was hilarious <laughs> okay so you just that's great that's just that's great the world is a strange place people yeah. but it's a good place yeah uh, <laughs> so. we actually uh, we actually had a uh, a fan tell us a story one time about uh he met he met up with us at a, at a convention we went to and he told us a story one time about how he uh, he there's a game he plays called dark souls mm-hmm. and in this game there's a character called solaire who does this he goes Praise the sun. Right? Well, that makes sense with a well, name like Solaire. Well, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> he spreads his arms wide and he yells, he looks up to the sky and yells, Praise the sun. I see where well, this is going. <laughs> well, anyway, 
<laughs> he like he goes like he goes to this uh, he goes to this uh, summer camp uh, that involves uh, that's a church summer camp, right? And uh, him doing it, like, he was he couldn't help himself. He uh, during one thing, he stood up and he looked up and he spread his arms out and yelled, "Praise the sun!" and Everyone in there. <laughs> yes. Go. Yeah. yes. Somebody did it. Somebody did. <laughs> but yeah, he yells that out. He yells, Praise the sun. And then all of a sudden, one by one, every other kid who's going to summer camp with him starts to do it with him. And then there's a group photo of not just him, oh but gosh. the head pastor who was overseeing the camp that summer, all doing the praise the, the sun, sun thing. Thanks. And they thought that it was praise oh, the son S- of God. S-O-N but instead it was praise the sun. <laughs> And he still has that picture. Oh my god! He has and you it would up just on his wall. Frame the heck out he of that. Did. He yes. framed it. He still got it on his phone. He took. He printed it. Put it on his wall. He can't help it. It's just like. Oh my and gosh! Later on, his pastor found out, and his that, pastor. What did, it meant- well, his pastor didn't hold it against him. His pastor was just like, I understand what that means now, but hey. It we all still was had good. Fun. It we was st- good. We still had fun. Yep. We still had. Yeah, oh, his so pastor funny. was cool. His pastor was really cool. Oh, that's um, a beautiful thing. You know, and that's the kind of stuff that happens at these places. You know, every now and then you run into weirdness, but I'm telling you, the the joy that you see in people, like, you just yelled praise the sun and it was yeah, echoed ran, through the room. Random, you know, like, random, random person. people walking by. Yeah, know like, what that means. My people are here. Yes. You know, it, it, <laughs> I'm, I'm an old school nerd. You know, the Star Trek, you know, hey. old Star Trek, not new Star Trek. Thank you for playing. But, uh, you yeah, know, OG series. Don't get me OG, started. Yeah. But, you know, it's just. But those are the kind of conversations you can have about things you love at places like this, where yeah. the rest of the world's looking at you like. Yeah, they got this perplexed. I call it. Yeah. I call it. I call it the. Uh, I call it the stumped look. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, their eyes are squinted. They got their hand out like this usually, either like this or like. Yeah, it, like it's the thinker almost. Yeah, it's like it's. Where is the, is it fear? Is it confusion? Is it, I'm not sure if you need therapy. I mean, no, this is therapy. Come to the con. That's your therapy. You're good. Okay, Absolutely. It's fine. Yeah. And, and the level of, uh, and, and the thing I've always loved about Dragon Con, it's still my favorite convention, even though it's ginormous now. Yeah. Because the level of nice that happens at Dragon Con has never changed. The level of politeness. It's never diminished. If you yeah. want onto that escalator. Go ahead. Everybody is. So, some bump say into this some 50,000 people walking down the hall and you bump into somebody excuse me pardon me I'm so sorry yeah. holy crap it's never changed yeah, it's some, still my favorite convention. I guess that's the southern hospitality coming through in some way you know but people are from all over there's something just yeah. the energy of that convention yeah. that just brings out the best in people now you always end up with some weird stuff and you, oh, I mean, yeah, you I people are people but <laughs> the overall vibe of events like this has always been to the positive for me and yeah. I mean I spill God, I can't. I can't remember who it was. My my brain is just whew, not enough caffeine. But I was in the <laughs> elevator at the Marriott at Dragon Con. Dragon Con most embarrassing moment. Elevator, and I I can't remember the actress's name, but she was a pretty famous actress right now. Uh, what I'm, uh, what uh, films has she been in? Have uh, you seen any? She was of her? A, she was old school TV. Um, I, I'll I'll think of her name and I'll email you and you can put a note in. But okay. Anyway, I can't. I had a cooler, and I tried to turn the cooler around. And I dumped the entire cooler full of ice and tasty beverages Ooh. across the bottom of the elevator in the Marriott, across her feet. <laughs> well, I've and heard of getting cold feet, but went, that's a whole new thing right oh, there. Oh, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember her name. Oh, my gosh. It's so terrible. <sighs> but, yeah. It's so, oh, honey. And she it was just like... And I'm sure she's telling that story to somebody somewhere. I was in this elevator, probably. and this crazy woman well, spilled ice all over me. So, no, she, instead of saying crazy, she's probably like, "Oh, this poor dear. She, she, she had oh. these. She had this cooler, and she she, she didn't was get a tasty beverage out of the deal. But hey, there you go. <laughs> it's like it's like. Sorry, I ruined your shoes. Here's a coke. Okay, exactly. <laughs> it was so Have bad. It was so bad. So you know. I, yeah, so there are moments like that. But, you know, of you course. go to these things and you meet people you would never meet otherwise. I got an actual hug from Lance Hendrickson several years nice. ago. Yeah, nice! Yeah, when he, when the year that his um, uh, autobiography came out, yeah. you never read it. It's uh, not bad for a human. Uh, great book. <laughs> Signed, hardback, copy. Lance Hendrickson got a hug out of the deal. Nice. Fabulous. Actually wrote these books yeah. with one of the characters with Gina Torres in mind as one of the characters. Yes. She came yeah. to Dragon Con this year. I gave them to her. <laughs> said, oh. They're one of my characters. And 
and she hugged me too. So, you know, Aww. these are moments. These are moments that don't these happen anywhere else. So, yeah, yeah this, is, this is my baby. Of course. Well, um, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, for me, for me, um, probably one of my coolest moments that I've ever had uh, interacting with a with a with a with a person with a like a high like a high end actor. Yeah. Uh, there's actually it was actually two instances in the same day. Uh, it was it wasn't at a convention, mind you. No. They were actually. Uh, I'm from I'm from a little town called Wise, Virginia, which is right next door to a town called Big Stone Gap, in which okay. they filmed a movie called Big Stone Gap that had Ashley Judd. Whoopi Goldberg, okay. Patrick Wilson, uh, Jenna Elfman, Anthony LePage, like a whole bunch of like real fairly big name actors, and uh, I was sitting there uh, in the back. I was leaned up against the wall. They wanted where I was uh, taller than most everybody else. They yeah. wanted me to stand by the door and like look after the like I was there to open the door for people and right. everything. Yeah. But anyway, I was standing back there and. Um, all, and like it was sweltering that day. It was like 96 degrees. The air conditioning in the church didn't work, and everyone was just like dying. So Whoopi Goldberg actually gets out of oh her gosh. seat and she comes around and she starts handing out waters to everybody in the back. And I'm like, oh okay. my gosh! And uh, she couldn't get over to our side, so instead, like me and uh, two other people went over and like got an armful of waters to take over. And she's like, thank y'all so much. And I'm just like, uh, we, thank you, Miss Goldberg. She goes, it's Whoopi, honey. And I'm like, oh, that's so I'm cool. Like, Whoopi. <laughs> I'm like, Miss, I'm like, Whoopi, thank you. And then the and other one. just go right through you. And you're like, oh. Yeah, and, and the other so one uh, was Patrick Wilson. Patrick, uh, have you seen the uh, new Watchmen movie that came I out? I have not, unfortunately. Okay. It's on my list. Or, okay, well, he actually, in the, uh, Patrick Wilson actually plays Night Owl. Okay. In he plays Night Owl, and he's, and. He's he's actually a pretty uh, like pretty famous actor right now. Um, uh, he loves uh, our area. He he actually has a private cabin that his oh, parents excellent. used to own yeah. up there, and he comes there and he spends some days during his summer for vacation up there with his family. Um, but anyway, uh, I was there and uh, it was during the second break of the evening. Uh, I went into the back and I got uh, I actually asked for orders for people in the back and like two people wanted donuts and I'm like all right so I go back there I get two donuts and I have like three waters in my arm and as I'm walking back down the main aisle down the middle all of a sudden I hear someone say hey where'd you get those donuts and I turn around I'm like oh they're in the back right th-. and it was Patrick Wilson <laughs> talking to me and I'm like uh, that the, uh, the, they're in the back right back they're there the, uh, and, and, uh, yeah they're, they're uh, right around <laughs> yeah, the kitchen right? uh, do you do you want me to go get some he's like oh no no I'll get my assistance to get some I didn't know they had donuts thank you and I'm like Th- thank you thank you and, thank you and I walk right. back and I walk by and I'm like oh my god that's Patrick Wilson <laughs> uh, but <laughs> that, that you was know, that was a good moment life is weird man life you gotta roll with it <laughs> oh absolutely 100 percent I agree but uh so. I uh, I appreciate you coming by. Absolutely, and I appreciate thank you, you for uh, having like, me. Oh, not, a, not a problem. And thank you for. I mean, I, I, this whole thing started because I heard you having that a conversation yeah, that was very yeah. important to me about yeah. about, about space the, and fandom and connections. And I think that's going to be on another video. But yeah, yeah, you'll it, so you'll probably see it. So impressed by that conversation and just yeah. yeah thank, you. thank, yeah. You. thank yeah. you, thank you, thank you. I think so what much. you're doing reaching out to folks and showing all sides of this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, everything that goes on in fandom, I think it, it's it's powerful, and thank I, you for doing it. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you, and thank you for stopping Absolutely. by. Absolutely. Once again, uh, if you want to uh, oh, plug yeah, your books again, books, yes. uh, once again, this is uh, Paige L. Christie. Uh, if you want to check out Yay. her work, uh, there is actually a link to her website. Uh, actually, Which is uh, pagelchristie.com. Page, pagelchristie.com. It's really easy. Very easy. <laughs> uh, there will be a link to it down below in the description. Also, you'll probably see it on the screen right up above her head. Like right there. So uh, thank you once again. And until uh, next time, I'm Nate, and uh, this I'm is Paige. Paige. Thank and, you so much. And we'll see you later, everybody. Yay. Bye.